Hi, so I am doing a Torrid haul. I don't, I, it's only three items. It's an, a full outfit. I'm nervous. I, I try to avoid shopping. I don't have very good shopping experiences, especially with like my psoriasis. It makes it really hard and awkward. I know it's hard and awkward for everyone or for a lot of people. I sympathize with that and I know I'm not alone, but I think the hardest part about, I don't know, shopping was just material. I think a lot of people don't understand that like certain materials hurt my psoriasis. I have full body psoriasis and you know, that means my legs, my arms, my back, my torso, you know. And I have to be conscious of what laundry I buy, you know. Um, and what fabrics I put against my skin. And right now I'm not using the best fabrics because a lot of the clothes I'm wearing right now was given to me. And um, it's let me play around with materials that I haven't really played with and that now I know. I just I have to wear like cotton and I've done research and I've read a lot and you know for me silk doesn't work I've heard some people with psoriasis have silk but I don't know it's all about the texture of fabric it some fabrics just catch on like the lesions the flakes the little all on my body and they tag and you know if I'm already in pain or itchy it makes it worse it irritates it I don't know if Anybody else knows about much about psoriasis? I, I I don't know how much some people know about psoriasis, and I know everybody's psoriasis is different. So my psoriasis is isn't necessarily the same as other people's, <laughs> but for me, I've noticed and I've I've done some reading, and it made me understand my psoriasis a little bit because sometimes you're feeling things and you don't understand what it is. So sometimes it feels like my skin's on fire and it puffs up and raises, you know? And I guess my body's attacking itself and thinks there's open wounds and it's sending things to attack. And so the blood is raising to the top of my skin level, causing inflammation and 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 um, the pain. And it happens at random times. I've seen where my face puffs up to like where I have psoriasis. It hurts. It's hard to deal with. I don't know life without it though. So <laughs> I have to be careful with because I have that that tendency for that the for it to get really hot. It feels really warm too. So I have to be careful about what materials I use so it doesn't trap heat and irritate my skin more. And I've always just used cotton. That's basically all I like. I use cotton shirts, you know, and and uh, for a long time I just wore whatever jeans because those were the things I could buy. I would go to the clearance section and buy some bright aqua pants because they're two dollars. <laughs> but um, this has been one of the first times I've been able to like really pick my clothes and I found a list a few lists describing you know because I I learned from trial and error from my childhood what fabrics worked for me for my act not me not even my childhood my teen years and my early 20s you know I really solidified like what fabrics caused me the least amount of irritation and you know so cotton is Cotton absorbs, so, okay, so cotton, it's breathable. Cotton absorbs um, moisture, from what I can read. You know, I have to wear loose clothing so um, the clothes don't rub against me and cause, like, inverse psoriasis, which it weeps and it's the most uncomfortable and I've had it a couple times in my armpits and stuff and it's 
it's just so much worse. <laughs> I don't know, I just, when I buy fabrics and stuff, it's just like, not only do I have like self-esteem issue problems with like, you know, cause I'm overweight and I've always been overweight. I've always been like the fattest girl in school, the fattest girl in, out of my cousins, the fattest girl, you know? And I know I got a lot for it. It was least of my problems, to be honest, cause my skin hurt, people would call me names for that, you know? And it's, I, and if you don't know about my past stories, there's stories of my bullying, there's stories of my childhood. Well, I have a couple videos about my childhood and stuff. I just, <laughs> this is a hard video for me because I'm going to show my whole body and I don't know how many people are going to see it, but I just, I want to unpack this with you and see if I can wear this new fabric because I found yes this, I remember I was saying this I found a list saying that cotton is a really good fabric number one that's what I figured out right so then number two was model m o d a l a l oh my gosh and it's synthetic, but they said it's breathable and it's, um, it absorbs moisture, you know, instead of trapping it. So I, I want to try it. I can return it. It's going to be hard to return, but that's why I just started with an outfit and why I have been avoiding, um, shopping. So... Here is the pants. All right, so I just wanted to say real quick that um, I do regret grabbing this, but at the same time, it's so loose that it doesn't pain me. This is my least favorite um, product I got, the pants, but only because of the polyester and spandex. But the cotton and model is mostly that. It, it's really not bad at all. Oh, they're biggies. <laughs> Let me see. So I think they're pretty, right? I think they're nice. I'm a chubby. I have been honest about that, but I don't think this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be my first time showing my body on here. I got these a size too big because I just, I've been, trying to take care of my psoriasis. I've been trying to take care of my psoriasis more and it just, everything says don't wear tight clothing and I've been wearing tight clothing more lately and I just, okay, so I'm gonna try everything all together at once. But I just wanted to, I don't know about this fabric. I don't know about the fabric, it feels nice, but I have to put it against my psoriasis and try it on because it's, I feel like I take a little bit better care <laughs> of my arms. They don't, are not constantly rubbing against like jeans. Um, I'm able to put coconut oil on them more. The jacket. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I realized I didn't say the size of this. So this is a size 26. <laughs> I don't even think you can even see it this is the jacket I figured a 5% wouldn't matter since it's supposed to not go directly on my skin I usually wear my flannel under this <laughs> I'm hope uh, I'm far enough apart that you can see <laughs> and the last thing which is a shirt. <laughs> I'm so excited. I grew up watching Beetlejuice. My mom and my aunt really liked it. They showed me all the 80s movies. <laughs> well, not all, but some. Ooh. Oh, it's so soft. 
I think I can wear everything up, but I'm not sure yet. So. And here is the shirt. This is my absolute favorite. Mostly cotton, a little model. The lace, really, it, my, my shirt rides up and it touches my stomach and I know next time I'm just not gonna get anything with it, any kind of lace. It really ugh, it feels so bad. But for the most part, <laughs> it, I absolutely, ugh, absolutely love this material. I, I cannot hype it up enough. I can, it feels like nothing. It's just so amazing. I love it. Okay, sorry. Wow, it's the lace that's really different for me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go try them on. Okay, so... <laughs> this is my outfit. Oh, I tied this. Oh, I, I realize I'm not in the middle of the frame. But yeah, so this is my outfit. I, I took the belt off. And it's just like perfect. I, I'm chubby, but I need extra room. And everything is just so soft. And I'm so glad I grabbed this fabric because I couldn't find anything cotton, at least in clearance, I think. So, yeah, this is a size four. This is a size 4, and this is a size 26. Thank you for being here, and gosh, tell me what you think. Should I, should I keep it? I can't see myself. Um, anyways, see you next time. I, dude, this feels so good on my psoriasis. Like, I don't feel any chafing. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wanted to mention this. Like, I uh, I put this shirt on and, you know, because I wanted to try it on and wear it before I washed it and, and uh, just to see if it's something I wanted because I don't want to, I don't know if you can return things you've washed. So, um... Sometimes you just, I have to let myself not be rushed because then I lose my train of thought. So, if you're here, you want to listen to me, right? This, I shouldn't rush myself. This is my, this is my space, right? <coughs> anyway, so, I put the shirt on and I was wearing it and then I suddenly felt a pain. And now, in order to explain why this pain was different, I have to explain the usual pain, right? So I usually have these little, I don't know how to distract, I've heard other psoriasis warriors say that it's um, like a bullet ant or something. Like it's just such a sharp, intense pain. Like something stabbing me or I, you know. But it's quite not, not quite like that at the same time. It, it's really, cause I've, it's just so close to the feeling like that. It's just what it is, right? So, I... Oh, wait. That's not what I was saying. What I was saying was, like, that usual pain. It happens over and over and over and over again. Like, in the exact same spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've tried counting, and I stopped counting after ten. And if I'm lucky, it will stop. <laughs> And if I'm unlucky, you'll move on to a different spot. So, um, it rarely does that. It's usually in a radically different spot on the other side of my body or something. So, this time I noticed, you know, I had the new shirt on and I felt the pain and dismissed it as my usual psoriasis pain. A minute later, I felt the pain again, dismiss. A third time... I suddenly realized those weren't like immediately one after another and I just I knew there was something 
none since I was at home, you know. I just, I took the shirt off and immediately checked and there it was. <laughs> um, a safety pin without the head. It was just two little, little, um, just a V <laughs> stabbing me, the sharp ends. And I was just, I've never, <sighs> what a time. And I didn't notice at first because it felt like my psoriasis. I just had to share that. I got a broken safety pin in my Torrid shirt. Thank you, Torrid. <laughs> I have been avoiding buying clothes and instead buying art supplies whenever I had some change. So I think that's gonna have to change and I'm gonna have to buy some more clothes because I think this looks nice. <laughs> Bye. I hope you come back again for some art videos or maybe a story time. <laughs> Toodles.